Welcome to tomorrow's Fashion Week News Flash. I'm Georgie Evans. Today we're discussing the power of political fashion at Paris Fashion Week. Let's begin with Balenciaga, who explicitly referenced the present war in Ukraine. Their snowstorm in a globe set instilled a chilling wave of emotion throughout the industry. Creative director Demna has been triggered with memories of his own experiences with war and seeking asylum, and as such, his Balenciaga show was an ode to Ukraine, an emblem of strength and resilience. Amongst Ukrainian flags and a heartfelt message on each seat, Demna opened the show with a spoken Ukrainian poem and closed it with two striking monochrome looks in the Ukrainian flags blue and yellow. Throughout the show, models walked against thrashing winds in signature broad shoulder styles and stilettos, some clutching bin bags and some in just towels. This political presentation was met with mixed reactions, but is a strong example of how fashion can incite action and inspire change. Esther Manis set an inclusive precedent as they presented their second Paris Fashion Week show over the weekend, once again showing their prowess in designing garments for all. A brilliantly inviting cast of friends and family of all sizes showcased the brand's signature and much copied ruching and tubular knitwear. Tangerine frills, met khaki ruffles, met dramatic cutouts in a collection that celebrated every woman. What makes Esther Manis stand out amongst the pack of those creating inclusive fashion is that their production matches the runway. Many will show inclusivity through casting, but not go on to create clothes that suit all bodies. Esther Manis produced garments in a variety of sizes, 80% of which is dead stock or upcycled. Arguably the biggest champion of upcycling within fashion is Marine Serre, whose Autumn Winter 22 collection was a showcase of craft and refinement within the field. Jacquards, tartans, picture perfect tailoring, Serre was flexing her skilled capabilities. This was polished punk rock, Traditional silhouettes were met with chains, charms, and pattern blocking, and a new boot style marked Sarah's signature crescent moon symbol with every step. Sarah also showed the process at her show. The top floor of her location was dedicated to demonstrating the brand's innovative upcycling techniques. A refreshing addition in an industry where the inner workings of luxury and high fashion is so often gatekept. So that's all from us here at Tomorrow. See you next season.